my channel today in this video lecture we will learn about the expression for virtual displacement okay expression for virtual displacement so friends so uh, I have already explained about the virtual displacement in my previous lectures but in this uh, video uh, we will derive an expression for the virtual displacement okay so uh, we know that virtual displacement delta ri of ith particle in n particle system depends on generalized coordinates q1 q2 up to qn okay so the virtual displacement delta ri of ith particle depends on the generalized coordinates q1 q2 up to qn okay here we are concerned with the n particle system as you can see here okay so here are the n particles okay from one to okay and this we have assumed to this to be the ith particle and this is the position vector of the ith particle okay okay so there are n particles in this system okay and we know that this uh, uh, we as i have already explained that the, the virtual displacement displacement depends on the generalized coordinates from q1 up to qn okay now let's uh, now uh, we know the general uh, we know the virtual displacement okay here uh, n especially i would like to tell you that what is n so n is the number of generalized n is the number of generalized coordinates okay so here we have seen that uh, how the virtual displacement depends on the generalized coordinate and now further uh, in my further lecture i will tell you and explain you that uh, why how we will come up with the expression of virtual displacement so uh, as already explained in my previous lectures that uh, the position vector of ith particle in n particle system depends on n generalized coordinates with time also okay okay so r i is the position vector of ith particle okay now what we have to do in order to find the virtual displacement uh, first i would like to tell you what is we, we what we mean by the displacement okay so let me i have to draw one easy diagram for that okay so you can see the coordinate system here okay this is x this is y and this is z okay imagine the ith particle is here okay now the position vector of this ith particle is say ri okay now what can happen is that this ith particle okay sorry give me some time so that i can draw a better diagram for you okay So this is x, this is y, this is z, 
and your ith particle is here this is the ith particle and let's draw the uh, uh, vector for this so the position vector for this is this okay and now let's write the position vector r i okay and now with time okay this ith particle with time can go from here say up to here okay so after time t its position will change from a to b okay and then it's it will get a new position vector which is which will be r i plus delta r okay so this will be the new position vector okay and now uh, we will tell you here that what is the displacement of the ith particle now you can see that now you can easily see that the particle has traveled from a to b okay so this particular displacement or movement okay this particular length is called delta r i okay and this is what we this is the uh, virtual displacement and uh, we want to find out the expression for this uh, virtual displacement okay okay friends so i hope you might have understand the uh, what's going on okay so let's continue so friends uh, uh, let's uh, go back uh, to our previous equation so this was uh, let me drop okay so uh, we have seen that this was the uh, the position vector of ith particle okay and now let's in order to find the virtual displacement we will take the total derivative of ri we will take the total derivative of ri okay so the total derivative of ri is uh, is written here this is the total derivative okay and we have written the whole expression here okay so if you don't know about the total derivative uh, please go to my previous lectures where i have already explained about the total derivative okay okay so friends uh, here the total derivative is, has been taken okay now we can easily see that here what will happen to this expression at for the last term okay since by definition virtual displacement does not depend on time therefore this term is zero okay friends so it is uh, the by the definition the, of the virtual displacement the virtual displacement does not depend on time so this is the reason why this term will go to zero because uh, uh, virtual displacement will not change with time okay so this term will definitely will go to zero okay so that's why in place of that we have written zero okay so now uh, we will uh, we will be left with this much terms only okay so now what we can do we can write this whole thing in uh, short form by using summation okay here we have used written the same thing using summation okay and here the k will run from k equals to 1 to k equals to n okay and this will give you the whole expression now let me rub okay so the expression which we have got here then that means this expression this is called this is the required expression for the virtual displacement okay so this was our required expression and i will uh, advise you to keep this expression in mind because in my uh, in my upcoming lectures of classical mechanics i will use this expression directly without any explanation so thank you very much please if you like this video please subscribe to my channel share with your friends and thanks for your support okay friends thank you very much